Yo, Murphle, what's going on? Does, yeah. Did Bees hit Betsy midair? I mean, Bees will hit Betsy as long as she's close enough to them, like, in terms of vertical height. When I did it, I couldn't get too many to hit her, though. But I didn't place them probably as close as I could. Bees will hold the lanes, like, perfectly fine. But it might require us to just hero, or hero DPS her down. Huh. So the bees aren't doing much of the damage on old Betsy, huh? I mean, maybe if you place them better than me. I don't have range stats put into them because they don't scale well off of range. But maybe that little bit you do get is the, uh, yeah, is what gets them to do it. Because I only be. think I had two nests hitting here or something. This is G says, uh, Betsy with volcanoes and frosties only. See, that is actually, uh... That doesn't sound that hard. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you just spam volcanoes everywhere and then go fall asleep in the back. That's actually, um, no, I mean... kind of a blah build. I, I'm not a big fan of the volcano spam. I know a lot of people like it. Yeah, I don't like it either. I mean, when it first came out and people didn't like volcanoes at all, I was like, alright, let's try to just get a million volcanoes. And then people started doing it, and I'm like, alright. <laughs> now it's old. Yeah. So clearly I'm a DD2 hipster. <laughs> <laughs> Red shifts, thank you for the follow. Alright, yeah, so, yeah. so what's it gonna be? That map has, what, 1500 DU or something? You could do, like, 15 volcanoes. That would, that would do it. Yeah, I mean... You know, if you have have three players with... Now, I personally don't have five Volcano Lava Mancers. Now, I did switch my DPS Lava Mancer over to a Volcano Lava Mancer. So I've got two that are straight up massive Volcano damage. And then the... If you... You know, my Waller... Lava Mancer Waller, of course. His Volcanoes are not too shabby either. And they've got a bazillion health. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I've got... I still got my DPS, because I find his DPS actually pretty fun, but I made a uh, second Defense Power Lava Mancer just for Fishers, and as a result, I also have another uh, Volcano. Right. But you won't see me use more than two ever, yep. unless I'm doing, giving a challenge or something. I did uh, Nimbus yesterday, I think, with three Volcanoes and a bunch of Lava Mancer stuff. Hell yeah. So, uh, so what map are we going to do? All right, we got suggestions, but it wasn't. I mean, there was a bunch of single votes. No one voted for the same thing. Let's see. Let me scroll back up. We got Bastille, Assault on Throne, Wyvern Enthusiast. I'd like to see. I'd personally like to see you do Wyvern Enthusiast. I think. Alrighty. Just, just because it's one people don't play very much, and it's another heavy it flyer doesn't. map. Well, it's a heavy flyer map. Oh, big time. It doesn't get hardly any action, the Wyvern Enthusiast map. You know, obviously I don't have uh, access to that sort of data, but I would bet it's really, really low on the totem pole as far as maps played. Yeah, for sure. But I like it a lot just so I can use my Sky Guards. <laughs> it gives me an excuse. Uh, streaming Red Eye, we're kind of... We're going back and forth, so uh, to join in, you would... Uh, this next match, I'm going to build... So you would join off of uh, Sidewalk Hero. We are going to do that. We might have to, uh... Well, we got another friend in here with us here, Unicorn. Is that from your, uh... Unicorn, yep. Unicorn, I, I feel bad uh, kicking people, though. Yeah. Right. Unicorn, just grab uh, one person from my chat. Yeah, Unicorn will understand, I'm sure. He's one of my mods on my Steam group, so he's not going to... Okay, He's not okay. going to get upset. Alright, so let's give him the boot. That'll work. Get out of here. And then <laughs> go to <laughs> Kick me, please. <laughs> can, can I even do that? Oh, yeah. Oh, I did! <laughs> I, I didn't think I could actually, like... Unicorn has been kicked. Up. That that was weird. How did I just did, take that massive amount of damage? damage yeah, what? <laughs> it Unicorn, almost... Unicorn, thanks for the follow. <laughs> it almost killed me. That's funny. Oh, that's funny. That's yeah. That's really funny. I wonder how the hell that happened. <laughs> All right, let me let me start it up just for you. All right.
And then, uh, you guys will see the join commands, uh, in chat once I'm ready for you to join off me. We'll load to the map first and I'll join the chat room. Most of you already know the drill, but I'll post the commands anyways in a sec. Alright, so, no PDTs, remember. What are you gonna do? What? Yeah, no PDTs, man. Oh man, I had my PDT placement all worked out already, too. Oh, did you? Oh, this is, <laughs> this is pretty awkward, then. <laughs> Let's see. I got too many damn dryads now. I really, really hope they change those, uh, change those passives. Hmm. I'm thinking, uh, things could get a little buzzy in here, though. <laughs> is that is that what you're thinking? That's what I'm thinking. This build is all the buzz? It's all the buzz. <laughs> of that, that there word? is no doubt. <laughs> hmm, do I want to have huge balls and go with one tree right here? I think so. Of oh, right there. Ooh. That's risky. But yeah, this is where I expect you to stand right here and annihilate everything, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, I can do this. For you. <laughs> Let's see. But it's gonna be on my monk, of course. Paul nine eighty eight K, thanks for the follow. Let's see. Uh, I know I'm gonna want some frosties. That's not. Uh, if we only had more DU on this map and I could spam like a million frosties down. It would make things just so much easier. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. We've got so we're definitely gonna have to put some work in. in. Gonna have to put some work mm. into these flyers. Are you not gonna not gonna do anything for the flyers other than frosties? Just frosties. Ooh, I'm getting scared. The f flyer. This is one of the maps where I don't trust uh, bees to do flyer damage since the lane. Well, there's so a high lot up. of them. There's no doubt. That's true. Yeah, and there's so many of them. Let's see. I got 620 DU left. That is a shitload of bees. <laughs> Unicorn 808808, how have you just now followed me on Twitch? You've been a moderator in my Steam group for a bazillion years now. It's funny, uh, Unicorn followed me, like, the instant after I kicked him, too. <laughs> like, oh. So you are an M. Good to know. Yeah, Kick me more. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Lines of beats. Actually, that's a good idea. I haven't been pairing them with, uh, Frosty Towers just because of Siege Rollers. The Frosty... Uh, like they don't... <coughs> Pardon me. The uh, Frosties don't scale very the Hornets very well. They scale the slimes way, way better. Oh, for sure. But, but it I gives us a little bit, you know, a little bit of flyer defense plus uh, a little bit of CC. And we don't have any siege rollers on this map, so we don't have to worry about that. We're secretly just doing siege rollerless uh, built or maps. <laughs> that is the plan. <laughs> See, in this side, since it's kind of our weak side, I'm gonna go uh, with some slime as well. We'll double slime it, and I'm thinking. Double slime. Ooh. I'm thinking these trees are gonna get beat up. Oh so... yeah. I would fatten those trees right up. Build like this. And a hundred DU brave, left. You're brave though, man. One frosty per. Oh, you got no DU left, man. What are you looking at? None. Man? Streaming red eye. Thank you for following. All right. Let's see. Is this? Uh, this looks like suicide. It really does. You know what? I'm gonna. I'm. I'm. I was gonna I'm say, chickening I like out like, here. I'm chickening one out. One less B, one less B, and one more frosty per lane, at least. I like the two fro. I I prefer, you know, of course, the frosty, uh, frosty power passive does stack as well. So I kind of always prefer to have two. 
Let's see. If I got rid of one B, I could add one more Frosty. Hmm. Oh, for sure. I think this I mean, B. You've got, you've got a lot of B lane sharing, too. You'll probably be fine. B. Fine. <laughs> Alright. Let's wreck it. 20 DU left. I'm going to. Uh... Let's see. With 20 DU left, I think maybe I'll give. Uh... Let me get out my. Oh, you sold the slimes. Yeah, I, I don't the like selling note. slimes. You know what? In fact... Hmm. In fact, I'm gonna... I'm debating on. You know what? Here, I'm gonna do it. What did you do? I'm a chicken. Ah, uh, <laughs> you're putting in a sky guard. That, this is where it's at. Get that sky guard in here. Alright, let's hey, wreck it up. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna have to. Two sky guards is enough for this map. Two sky guards. Do you focus them? Yeah, I've, I've done it with two sky guards only and a couple frosty towers, of course. That's that's I impressive, think two really. Does enough, but... My sky guards are not oh, as man, beefy fine. as yours. Uh oh. They're not bad. I'm seeing like 32k on them. 30 now that this yeah, is happening. Yeah, that's what Harder. I got. All right, I was supposed to face tank everything over here for you. Let me do that. <laughs> And I am, uh, I'm gonna be ice needling it up here with these flyers. The problem here, of course, being shy of that sky guard, there's not a whole lot else to upgrade. Of course, the hornets, you know, you're not getting really any return actually, on investment. Uh, I'd actually say uh, Frosty Towers on this map, get those freezes happening sooner for the Flyers. Yeah. This is one of the cases where I would upgrade them. That would definitely be the way to go. And I got but a feeling you, that we'll probably, a if I had a few slimes, normally when I do this build I, I throw slimes in the mix. Just because the slimes do have just massive stopping power. Yeah, it's pretty nice. You get the little things killed with the uh, bees, and the slimes will take out the rest, I guess, eh? Oh, yeah. The slimes are, are pretty amazing combined with Frosty. I mean, I don't know if you've looked at the the damage increase, but it's... I mean, it's more than double. It, it scales with Frosty power better than any other tower, I think. You think so? Yeah. Never... It's insanity. I've never like, looked at it specifically, but like my fully upgraded it seems slimes, like be really good. My fully upgraded slimes per hit are doing like uh, I want to say like a hundred and twenty thousand, and just with yeah. one frosty tower on it, it raises it all the way up to like two forty. It's just really? insane, yeah, absolutely. A flat double. That's it. That is a lot. Yeah. Let's see. Iron Bones yeah. is queen. Thank you for the follow. Uh, I don't know what to upgrade after saying all that. <laughs> Everything's already upgraded that left. I talked about. Yeah. I mean, I guess Frosties maybe one more time wouldn't be too bad, and then these? Yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking that'll probably get it done. Uh, I mean, just... the more we upgrade the bees, I think the more the Frosty Towers do for them too, right? Yeah, absolutely. Is my math right? Yep. I've never been known for my math skills. <laughs> Well, it's a perfect combination, then, because that's the only thing I can do right. Being in the casino business for so long, it, uh, it makes you uh, quite effective with numbers. See, I, I shouldn't have an excuse. I've got an engineering degree, but everyone, every time someone <laughs> says, you know, why is you still got a math? I'm like, that's what calculators are for. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was actually math. But, you know, back in the school days, math was always always my strongest point. So you guys are just all fighting the system and not one of you is going to get on a ranged character to help me with these flyers. I see well, how it is. <laughs> I think your build is good against flyers. You put down that uh, sky guard with range frosties. We're laughing, man. I'm sitting here thinking, oh, there will be a gun witch. Another gun witch to help me out. <laughs> oh, no. Man, everyone's all about gearing up their uh, 
gearing up their monks right now. Well, it it's is. All of us. It's fun, you know. I mean, the and you, it, it doesn't do anything for your DPS on them, obviously. But having the kind of like the shock tank set up with the storm chest as well, it it adds to just a lot of fun. I'm still looking for that uh, storm chest. I don't have a storm yeah. chest for my monk. I've got an awesome one for my squire and for uh, for my dryad tank, but I do not have one for my monk yet. Yeah, it's all right. You guys are beast moding it out enough on all these ground mobs that the. The flyers well, actually, are not coming I'm anywhere near. I'm actually thinking about doing uh, a bunch of knockups to distract your sky guards from the uh, flyers. <laughs> really well, that would be the that would be the ideal choice. This one it doesn't really get super difficult on the flyers until wave four. Wave four, man, there is just a lot of flyers. Oh, there's just a horde of flyers. I mean, you got right now 22 per lane, I think. Oh yeah. 25, 25. It really picks up. Ah, the power of the gun witch. Ice Needle for the win. <laughs> oh, it's so good. I mean, she's the ultimate anti-air. Oh, yeah. After Quab, of course. Poor Quab. I'll never forget Quab. <laughs> One of these days, I'll probably end up... Uh... See, I still don't have a 50% Frosty weapon. Oh, really? I mean, I found dozens of them, but they've all had crap stats on it or been really, really low item power. Mine is uh, forty-eight percent. So one of these days, I thought about doing a, a save quab today and just grinding out a frosty weapon. So I got I got mine back before it was you know on poachers when it was just a random drop you know when purge evil and frosty came out. Yeah. So I got it as a random drop on whatever map I can't remember. Actually, it might have been poachers, but as random dropping with fifty, and it survived the uh, passive uh, revamp or whatever the time too. Yeah. So, I, I I've been I got extremely lucky with mine. That's what kind of got me is when the when the passive reroll happened. I my frosty, uh, you know, and frosty was kind of the meta back then too. But my my frosty apprentice took a big hit. Oh, they're creeping in. There's no doubt about that. Oh yeah, they're getting closer. Um, the ones that really concern me are just the the cobalt There's, dive bombers. There is a orc walking on there. Uh, Outstanding. I don't know if you have my stream open, but if you if you have a chance, you should definitely try to check it out in the next like ten seconds. That thing was just walking through the air. <laughs> Basically, the only one. You're the only one I was uh, saying this to, though. That's <laughs> what else awesome. Gonna... Well, they're watching. They'll see it. What map is a good map to do for metals, D metals, Demon Slayer, best cell master. Even um, Alter isn't that bad, it's pretty fast too. Anything yeah. that's fast. Except for a Harvey. I mean with the I think um, you know, you can still do a two minute, forty five second, three minute Demon Slayer. So I think that's still probably the fastest. But there's a lot of other options when that gets boring. Oh for sure. I'm loving my B builds since it's just so fast to do and I can run metals fast through there if I ever need to. Yep, absolutely. I just got really, over to uh, Juice channel and check out the uh, Demon Slayer Swarm build. I just love uh, I, I love throwing the the slimes in the mix. I mean like I said, they just they do just hit like a truck. And especially with Frosty on top of it. But man, the Hornets, they are uh, not to be denied. A lot of People kind of miss, uh, you know, with the Hornets kind of glitchy graphics, exactly the amount of damage they're doing. But if you go up to them after the match and inspect them and look at the damage done, it's always, always significant. There's actually a, there's actually a bug right now. Um, and not just the Hornets, but with anything where the damage dealt number is far exceeding what it should be. Oh, is um, it? I didn't know about that yeah, one. Yeah, it's even lit, it's hitting like whatever cap the uh, number can hold. Yeah, that uh, two billion. I, yeah, I, two point one four or something. Not quite a pie number, but almost. <laughs> yeah, I mean, on patch day, I uh, hit some bees getting that cap, and I was like, "Holy crap! My bees are doing. My bees can't be doing two billion damage." 
Yep. They're, they're strong, and they were only damage source, but they're not that strong. Right. There's not holy, that many uh, enemies. Holy Sword Project, as far as I know, you can just uh, join a game with your friends that are still going through the campaign. Do you know, side is if someone, you know, if you've got a friend that's playing that hasn't completed the campaign yet, you can still play with them, can't you? I think so, yeah. I think yeah, I'm pretty sure. He's on uh, Holy Sword Projects playing on the PS4, and um, matchmaking on the PS4 is actually, as far as friends go, it's actually a little easier than on the PC, or, or less confusing. You know, when I started those uh, DD2 tutorials, I actually got a message from um, a trendy employee saying that the biggest uh, question they get is how to group with your friends. And I guess people were confused about the uh, the in-game versus the Steam matchmaking, which, you know, obviously uh, you can do yeah. both if you're in the same, you know, in the same uh, marketplace. Where on the, yeah, on the PS4, sure. it's pretty much easy mode. You just, you know... Click homie, join homie, <laughs> you know. Which I never really was very confused, to be honest with you. I, I never really had a problem matchmaking with uh, friends on Steam. But I guess yeah, uh, I guess a lot of people have. I mean, maybe not a lot of people are used to just joining from you know the Steam browser or overlay and, and yeah, join friend. It could I, be. I mean, I pl played a bunch of games where before this where I had to do that, so I guess I'm used to it that way. It'd be interesting to see, you know, on the uh, war table if you had a tab that said, like, if you had a friends tab and you could see what your friends are doing. That would be cool, so. I think that would uh, that would probably, you know, make those questions all but stop. Now that I'm thinking of it, that's probably what people are looking for. If I had to guess. Uh, him, uh, EV2 is actually currently one of the highest DPS uh, heroes you can play. So you're definitely not going wrong by by DPSing on the EV2. The EV2 is a beast. In fact, I've I've said it a million times. I'll say it again. If EV2 had double jump, I would never play another DPS hero. <laughs> I just I love it. I'm a huge fan of the EV2. This monk is pretty fun. Yeah, I'll give you that. <laughs> Holy Sword Project, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. All right, Juice. Watch the mini map for flyers. Don't fail now. <laughs> oh no, no, we're good, we're good. Just leave the flyers. Double jump on monk. Monk and hunters, I could see as having double jump. Like double jump on a monk would be awesome too. Double jump on every hero would be awesome. I mean, it, it should be a thing. What the hell? All the flyers are dead? You gotta believe. Believe. <laughs> Once you get that increased range on the bees, they are, uh, they are pretty ridiculous. I mean, hitting the flyers as well. Just insanity. You say increased range, but, uh, from what I can tell, when you put stat points in the range, at most you're getting, like, 50 extra range out of like off of the initial 4,000. Yeah, yeah, you don't they get don't much. They don't scale with uh, range stats. But you do get uh, you get a nice little bump in range. Well, actually, it looks like about 10%, maybe 10 or 15% additional range every time you upgrade them to a higher tier. Oh, 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 oh. I see, I see. Not definitely not a huge I number. I never looked into that off upgrades. I wonder if it extends the vertical range as well, because that's my only... Oh, I mean, if if they increase the vertical range as well, I mean, they'd be even more OP. And here come... Here come all the all the bee talk. Beautiful build. Thanks, Omni. Yes. <laughs> Easy mode, GG. I think you mean BZ mode? BZ mode. <laughs> Easy mode, BZ. Easy mode it is. Jun Bao, thanks for the follow, man. Let's see what kind of crappy Phantom Phoenix I got. Oh, good, I got one with defense health. I'll need that nice. later. I should <laughs> got uh, passes I was looking for. Just the percentages in them are bad. 
I've I don't got know a, if they're working yet or not. I've got a pretty decent Blaze Balloon uh, builder right now. I used to really be a big fan of Blaze Balloons pre, uh, pre Abyss Lord and EV2 and everything else. Well, I, I made a... I mean, maybe it was a month or <laughs> month and a half ago, but I made a Blaze Balloon Huntress and... Only to then later figure out that the passive on it was broken and it wasn't actually working. The um, the extra crit passive, not the Phoenix, of course. Yeah. So that, that also broke recently and got fixed. But I don't know if that's fixed yet. But that was really sad because, you know, I was really looking into it, trying to build it up, uh, wanted to use them. Oh, yeah. Dark Bam Bam, thanks for the follow. The, uh, that, that passive still busted on the Blaze Balloon. That's why I haven't it, really uh, been using it. But um, they did fix the crit. You know, it wasn't... Uh, the Blaze Balloon was on the list of defenses that weren't critting. Along with, the uh, you know, the Snakes and the Lightning Aura and everything yeah. else. So uh, it was good to good to see it's actually critting again. Because, of course, Blaze Balloon's all about that crit damage. Yeah, for sure. 